you for watching our video on upgrading to Microsoft Dynamics GP 2018. We're very excited to share with you the latest and greatest with this product. My name is Greg Luttrell and I have with us today one of our technical upgrade specialists, John Darling, who will talk to you about why you should start planning your upgrade. Our goal today is to give you confidence in GP and show you the ins and the outs of the upgrade process, talk about Microsoft support cycle, and to just touch on just a few of the many benefits that GP 2018 has to offer. My goal is to create an open dialogue between our upgrade specialist and your project team. I focus on keeping our projects on track and I'm there to answer any questions along the way. John Darling is one of our technical upgrade specialists. He focuses on behind the scenes work and actually performs the upgrade from your current GP version to GP 2018. He will typically team up with one of our functional upgrade specialists which will focus mainly on ISV setups, reporting, and most importantly, what's new in GP training. Here's the latest update on Microsoft's mainstream support. Support ended for Dynamics 2010 in October of 2015, and support will end for GP 2013 in April of 2018. Although we can still assist you with any questions on any version of GP, it is best practice to be within two major releases in order to continually get the latest hotfix and updates from Microsoft. For those that are still on GP 2010, you'll notice an important change in the licensing model. If you have any specific questions, please reach out to your client success manager or CSM for more details. An important benefit of that licensing model change is that there are now unlimited MR licenses. One last note I'd like to share in regards to GP support from Microsoft, the hotfix that was released in January of 2018, which was the first hotfix for GP 2018, was the final hotfix for GP 2013. And what's important about that is if you are using payroll and on GP 2013, now is the time to start upgrading. Now there are a ton of benefits of being on 2018, but we're just gonna talk about a few of them. The first is the web client. Web Client is now built on HTML5, and what that means is now supported across all browsers, not just Internet Explorer. One item we recommend in the upgrade process is what's new in GP training. This is done by our functional upgrade specialists, and it's tailored to your needs and your business processes. As I mentioned on a previous slide, staying within two major versions will give you a longer time frame of being within Microsoft mainstream support. For example, GP 2018 support cycle with Microsoft does not end until 2023. And now I'm gonna turn it over to John Darling, our technical upgrade specialist, to run through the upgrade process. Thanks, Greg. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about budget considerations for GP 2018. We wish we could give you the upgrade for free, but the truth is there is some cost associated with moving to GP 2018. The primary cost categories that you'll need to keep in mind are the consulting services, and the IT and the hardware services. For the consulting services, we don't go with a one-size-fits-all approach for quoting your upgrade. We send you a questionnaire to learn about your GP environment so we can make a tailored quote that covers everything you use and nothing you don't. For the hardware and IT side, you have two ways you can go. You can keep GP hosted on-premise and have your IT staff purchase new servers or provision VMs, or we can talk to you about Velocio's cloud hosting options. With that, we can own the whole end-to-end -end process for your GP upgrade. We handle creating the servers, we make sure your users can access them, along with performing all the GP upgrade services. Whatever's easier for you and whatever makes sense for you, we have an upgrade plan that will work. A lot of times, folks are a little nervous about upgrading GP because it usually means a server move, and that server move can either be on-premise or in the cloud. We can talk with you about the pros and cons of each, and also the pros and cons of different ways to present the GP application to your users. You might want it on local workstations, you might want a terminal server environment, or you may even be curious about the web client. If you are, there are different server considerations involved for each. During our kickoff call, we'll give you a specialized server recommendation document based on your preferences, your GP usage, and your overall needs. These wonderful charts might not mean much to you, but I know them like the back of my hand. These are the different upgrade paths to get to GP 2018. And the main takeaway is that a lot of times there's not a direct one-step easy upgrade path. That doesn't mean it can't be done. We can take you from whatever version of GP you're on now to GP 2018. 
There's no need for you to do an incremental update ahead of time. We look at where you are and figure out a way to get you to where you need to be. A new version of GP almost always means a new version of SQL Server. And GP 2018 is supported with actually three different versions of SQL Server even since this slide was created. It's supported with SQL Server 2014, SQL 2016, and just now, recently, it's been confirmed to be supported with SQL Server 2017. We can figure out what version makes the most sense for you, but it's something to keep in mind that now is a chance to move to a more efficient and newer version of SQL Server as well. If you want a short list of what's supported with GP 2018, I'll run through the high-level points here. GP 2018 is supported on Windows 8 and Windows 10 for your client desktop environments. It's also supported with Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2, and 2016 for your server operating system, and SQL Server 2014, 2016, and 2017 for your database engine. Also, GP can integrate pretty tightly with Microsoft Office, but you want to make sure you're on either version 2013 or 2016. A few of you might be using Business Portal with either GP 2010 or GP 2013. The little bit of bad news is that Business Portal is not included going forward in GP 2018, but we have some great solutions for you to replace it. The GP 2018 web client is greatly improved, so you can use that for employee time and expense, or we really like a product called RecLogic. Both of these would be new implementations and not a direct upgrade, but we have experience with both. So if you're on Business Portal, no reason to be afraid. You can look at it as an opportunity to get on an even more powerful solution for your self-service user time and expense entry. You've probably heard the term test upgrade a lot when talking about GP upgrades with your CSM or consultants. And you could be thinking, why do we really need that? What does a test upgrade even do? Well, in a test upgrade scenario, what we do is we take a copy of your live GP data, we move it over to your new GP servers and perform the upgrade there. The advantage of this is that you have an exact mirror system of your production system, but your production system is left unchanged. Your users can continue their day-to-day -day work in production while using the GP 2018 system on separate servers without fear of affecting production data. It also gives us a chance to benchmark your upgrade as far as timing, so we'll know exactly how long it takes. We can help you plan for any downtime during the production upgrade. We can also resolve issues before they impact production. Because we will have gone through the process once end to end, we're very familiar with how it will go during cutover. So it gives you peace of mind. It gives us a great idea of the ins and outs of your particular upgrade. And everyone can rest a little easier knowing that we've been through this all before. We're familiar with the system and there's nothing new under the sun when it comes to your GP 2018 upgrade. When it comes to upgrade timing, you're unique, just like everyone else, but we can give you a baseline timeline that works for about 80 to 90% of our clients. Obviously, your timeline will vary based on the complexity of your environment in coordination with your IT provider and any third parties you have. But at a high level, the test upgrade process usually takes about a week after a one to two week pre-upgrade planning period where we have our kickoff calls, we coordinate with your IT provider and any third parties that you may use. So after the roughly one week of test upgrade processing, there's usually two to four weeks of user testing and training. This is when your users can get acquainted with GP 2018, ask any questions they might have, and get some very specialized what's new training from our application consultants. After that, we plan a date for your go live. Usually this takes about one to two days, and it can even be done over a weekend so you have zero downtime for your production GP use. If you're on GP 2013 or an older version of GP, there's a good chance you're using the old rusty, trusty FRX financial reporting tool. That's another piece that's no longer supported in GP 2018, but fortunately, there is a direct upgrade path for it. We can migrate your FRX reports to Management Reporter. We might need a little help from you on the front end with cleaning up your old reports, letting us know which ones you no longer need but the migration process usually goes pretty well. And we're also very familiar with training folks who are moving to Management Reporter for the first time, so we'll be by your side to work out any kinks during that migration. If you're a real technical go-getter or you have one of those on your team, you might have considered doing your GP upgrade yourself. While we have had a few folks do this successfully, we always recommend you trust your GP partner with your upgrade because of all the items listed here. From the initial, from the initial backups of your production system, the installation of GP 2018, dozens of third parties that we can upgrade for you, and the migration and upgrade of any custom reports, 
management reporter, integration manager, and the user testing and training, there are a lot of items that you probably don't want your GP users or your IT team to have to do during an upgrade. The good news is, is that we do almost all of it for you when you trust us with your upgrade. When you're testing your GP 2018 upgrade, it's important to run through all of your day-to-day -day processes. That includes transactions that you do on a daily basis, reports that you might run every week or every month, and especially anything customized in GP, whether that's custom windows, third parties, integrations, anything that's not core GP can be a little more problematic during an upgrade. So that's why we wanna test it so we can address any issues before they crop up and impact your business. So once your GP 2018 upgrade is done, how are we gonna present it to the average user in your office? Well, there's several ways we can do it. If you have a terminal server, we will have already installed GP there during your test upgrade and users will have had practice connecting to it. That way they'll be very familiar on day one with how to log into the system and all the different ways that accessing GP might have changed. If you have local workstation installs for GP, we'll give you a how-to document on how to install GP on the workstations and work through the first couple with you. We'll also have myself or another technical consultant and your application and training consultant available to you during Go Live. So that way, if there are any one-off issues or any first day jitters, we'll be there to guide you through it and make sure that you have a very good first week on GP 2018. Now I'd like to turn things back over to Greg to talk a little bit about the third-party products that are available with GP 2018. Thanks, John, for that detailed look into the upgrade process. One important thing to note when planning your upgrade is whether or not the ISV products you use are compatible with the latest version of GP 2018. Here's a look at all of the ISVs that we see typically in upgrade and who is ready and compatible with 2018. We'll just note a few that we see, uh, QuickTag, McCorma, E1, uh, if you use Smartless Builder or Smart Connect, uh, Scribe is ready, Avalara Avitax, uh, Forms Printer with Accountable, these are all good to go. Now the upgrade process is complete, what's your next? What's the next step? Velocio wants to work with you to improve your day-to-day. -day. We want to streamline processes. We want to get into phase two and phase three and really get down and, and create business processes with you that will just launch you into the future. And I just want to thank you for watching this video. There's a ton of great info about GP 2018 and we can only get to a little bit. If you have any questions, reach out to myself or John or to your client success manager.